Welcome to In The Game, Cougs. I'm your host, Daniel Rodriguez. There is plenty to discuss in the sports world, so let's go ahead and get started. After a less than optimal wrap to their season, the Houston Rockets have mutually agreed to part ways with head coach Steven Silas. Over the last three years, the Houston Rockets have finished with a bottom three record in the association, with two finishes at the bottom of the standings and the third worst record in the league this season. The Rockets are currently tied with the San Antonio Spurs and Detroit Pistons with the highest odds to land the number one overall pick in this year's highly touted draft class. With the opportunity to land either Victor Wembanyama or Scoot Henderson, alongside returning young stars Jalen Green, Alperin Shangun, and Jabari Smith Jr., one can imagine that this young team is an ideal landing spot for any coach. According to top NBA insider Sham Sharanya of The Athletic, Nick Nurse, Ime Udoka, Frank Vogel, and Kenny Atkinson are leading candidates to fill the head coaching vacancy. Kevin Young, Adrian Griffin, and Sam Cassell have also reportedly been granted permission to meet with the Houston Rockets. One thing is for certain, Rafael Stone, general manager of the Houston Rockets, is attempting to shift the culture in Houston by bringing in a coach with a championship pedigree. Nick Nurse led the Toronto Raptors to a championship in the 2018-2019 NBA season with assistant coach Adrian Griffin. Frank Vogel also led the Los Angeles Lakers to the bubble championship in the shortened 2019-2020 NBA season. On the contrary, Kenny Atkinson was an assistant coach on last season's Warriors championship team and Sam Cassell won three NBA championships as a player. It's also important to mention that Ime Udoka led the Boston Celtics to the finals last season, but ultimately fell short, and that Kevin Young was an assistant coach for the Phoenix Suns in their 2020 to 2021 finals run. Leading the helm would have to be the former coach of the year winner, Nick Nurse. Something you should keep in mind would have to be Nurse's deep-rooted connection to the Houston Rockets franchise. Before getting a shot at coaching in the NBA, Nurse led the then D-League affiliate Rio Grande Valley Vipers to two championships. Now enough about basketball. Let's switch our gears over to the world of MMA. UFC 287 had an exciting fight card with the youngest fighter in the UFC, Raul Rosas Jr., who lost his bout to Christian Rodriguez via the judge's unanimous decision. Also, Kevin Holland took down Santiago Ponzinibbio with a nasty left hook in a third round TKO. We saw Rob Font quickly take care of business against the local Adrian Yanez via first round TKO. Gilbert Durinho Burns, the four-time Jiu-Jitsu world champion, went the distance with Jorge Masvidal, sending him on his way toward retirement via the judge's unanimous decision. Israel Stylebender Adesanya versus Alex Perea II headlined UFC 287. With the middleweight championship belt on the line, Adesanya, the challenger, and Perea, the reigning champ, being set to face off for the fourth time. Up until this point, Adesanya and Perea have had quite the history. The two had previously matched up on three separate occasions, twice in kickboxing and once in the octagon, all of which Perea had won. Up until this point, Perea seemed to have Adesanya's number. Ultimately, Izzy ended up settling the score against Perea in the octagon and reclaiming his middleweight title belt with a late second round knockout. Anyways, that's all we have for today. I'm Daniel Rodriguez. Thanks again for tuning in and go Cougs.